What about you? I couldn't do it. I couldn't leave. No. And you're not going to either. Gonna start the movie. Maybe some other time, huh? Is everything okay? No, honey. It's not okay. I have something to tell you, something you're not going to like hearing. But it can't be put off. It's best that you find out now. Find out what? What's going on? It's about Thorne and that woman, Trisha Quick. His roommate. Now, see, I don't know what Thorne has told you about her, but... He hasn't told me anything. I haven't even called him yet. Good. Don't call him. Don't give him the satisfaction. Because I found out I was right all along in my instincts about that woman. Thorne is intimately involved with her. Mother, just because she's living in his house, Darling, I was there. I overheard a telephone conversation between the two. And frankly, some of the things she was saying to him indicated that this was not a platonic relationship. As a matter of fact, some of the things she said would have made a sailor blush. Wait a minute, you, you say you heard what they were saying? What were you doing, spying on them? I was there to look out for your best interests, Macy, and I'm very, very glad I did. Now, I don't know what kind of a game Thorne is playing, but I know it isn't honorable, because no decent, honorable man proposes marriage to one woman while he is intimately involved with another. You're sure? I'm positive. I could give you a play-by-play uh, -play description if you want no, it. No, no, no. That's okay. I, I believe you. I'm sorry, honey. Terribly, terribly sorry. Massimo, what have you done? Rich had to know the truth. No, 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 no. You made a choice. You broke your word. You promised me that you would never tell Ridge he's your son. Yes, but that was then. Now... Now we're going to have to deal with this disaster, with this mess that you've created. Did you think this out? Yes. Did you really think this out? Yes, I thought about it. Of course I thought about it. And I also thought the good it would do for your family and mine. You're not talking about Ridge and Bridget. I'm talking about a stable home for our grandchildren. That's incestuous. Are you insane? She can't be a mother to those children. She hasn't even had a life of her own, and you... You want her in some kind of a relationship with Ridge? That's sick! Your plane... Is gone. Mm. You couldn't go? Not without seeing you. And here you are. <laughs> You didn't really think I was going to let you go, did you? I'm sorry. I, I wanted to say goodbye to you at the party. I waited as long as I could. Bridget, I didn't come here to say goodbye. You didn't? I came here to take you home. Get going. Yeah, you're right. I probably won't be able to get another plane tonight. You're not going anywhere. I told you. I'm taking you home. Ridge, look, I know this trip seems kind of sudden, but it's a really good opportunity for me. Yeah? Why weren't you on that plane then? 
Um, I just... I wanted to... Say goodbye? Yeah. Hmm. No. <laughs> Second thoughts about running away? I'm not running away. Look, Rich, I, I waited for you at the party, and I got to say goodbye to the kids and explain to them why I had to leave. And they understood. I just wanted to make sure you understood, too. Oh, I think I do understand. You do? Yeah, that's why I was late. See, I was on my way to the party, and I ran into Massimo. We had a very interesting conversation, actually. Probably the most significant conversation of my life. He told you? Yeah, my princess. He told me everything. Ridge loves Bridget as his sister. That's how he sees her. That's how he loves her. He did, but now he knows that she's not. That's not going to change his feelings for her, but it sure as hell is going to change everything else. He ran after her, Stephanie, okay? He didn't go to Eric. He didn't go to you. He went after Bridget. What does that tell you? It tells me that he would rather deal with her problems than face his own. Well, maybe he doesn't see it as a problem. Maybe he sees it as a revelation. And what a stunning revelation to find out that your father is not your father, that your whole life has been based on a mistake. A twist of fate, Stephanie. A twist of fate that opens up a world of possibilities for both him and his family. Or takes away everything that he's ever been able to count on and to believe in. You're wrong. And if I'm not? You didn't even bother to consider that, did you? What is the alternative, Stephanie? Oh. Ask yourself, who benefited by our silence? Ridge, his children, Bridget? No, I'll tell you who benefited. Brooke Logan. No more. The truth is out. Now Ridge is free to start a new life. A new life without Brooke Logan. You're awfully quiet. I don't really know what to say. You don't really have to say anything. I already know. I'm no longer a forester. God, your head must be spinning right now. A lot to digest, that's for sure. Have you talked to Dad yet? Not yet. Stephanie? No. I want to see you first. You've known about this since Portofino, haven't you? Yeah. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you, Ridge. It had to be tough. I mean, I knew something was going on with you. The way you'd been acting, you were so kind of distant and guarded with me. Massimo and Stephanie asked me not to say anything. It was really hard, wasn't it? Being around me and the kids, sharing so much of our lives, trying to keep your secret. I had to. Not anymore. There have been too many secrets between us, kiddo. From now on, let's get everything out in the open, okay? Lacey. Hi. May I, may I come in? Yeah, yeah, please, please. It hasn't changed much, huh? No, no it hasn't. Must be a little strange, though, coming back after all this time. It's 
It's all so familiar. Like no time has passed? Except it has. We made a lot of memories in this room. <sighs> Thorn, we need to talk. You told Lorenzo we're still married. No. But you are going to. Thorn, there's something that I'd like to clear up first. Macy, if you want to talk to my attorney, I'll call him, okay? He will explain everything. You know, actually, you're the one that has some explaining to do. And I want you to be totally honest with me. Macy, you know how I feel about you. That isn't the only issue here. I know you care for Lorenzo. He's been very supportive. That's right. And... I've been totally upfront with you about that. I just expect the same candor from you. Of course. Now, I want you to tell me the truth, Thorne. I need to know. What? I need to know what's going on with you and Trisha. Is that what this is all about? You've turned my son's life upside down in order to save him from Brooke? Isn't that what you wanted? Not this way. Oh, Stephanie, come on. You've seen it yourself. Bridget's compassion, her connection to Ridge and those kids. She's a grounding force in that family. She's a young girl that, that wants to lead her own life. Yes, and she wants to lead it with Ridge. Now maybe she has a chance. No, Massimo. No, no. You want Ridge to end up with Brooke? You've convinced yourself that you've done me a favor, haven't you? I've done what's best for our grandchildren and our son. No. You've done what's best for yourself. And you have used the immature emotions of a very, very young schoolgirl to justify those needs. Did you really think that I'd be grateful for that? Well, let me tell you, I'm not grateful at all. Well, maybe you should be. Rich, uh, I appreciate you coming to the airport, but I'm not really sure I'm the one you should be talking to about this. Bridget, I... I already know. So there's no reason for you to feel uncomfortable at all. You just had a huge bomb dropped on you. You need time to process. I mean, when I think about what a shock it was for me... Yeah, Massimo should never have told you. No, he didn't. It just slipped out. And then he tried to deny it, but I knew it was true. Well, you just had a feeling? No. Not at all. I was... I was completely blown away. I mean, for so long, I've thought of you as my brother, and... And then one day, I find out you're not. It changed everything. That's why you pulled away, isn't it? I was uncomfortable. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet Massimo being the total control freak that he is only made it worse. Huh? He did try to put some crazy ideas in my head. I heard. He told me you were in love with me. Thorne, I need some answers. Well, I'm still not sure I understand the question. The question is, is there somebody named Trisha Quick living here? Yes, but there's nothing going on. Okay, look, I didn't come here to rake you over the coals, Thorne. I understand. I moved on with my life, you moved on with your life. Macy, it wasn't like that, okay? Maybe it could happen. Not now. Not since I got back from Portofino. Well, then why did you keep it a secret? I didn't keep it a secret. You didn't tell me anything about it. Well, it wasn't important. Was it ever? It, maybe it could have, Macy, okay? I mean, we got along. There were, you know, a couple of kisses. But, Macy, the minute that I found you alive in Italy, that changed. So you broke up. 
It hadn't even gotten that far, Macy. Listen, I'm telling you, Trisha is just a tenant. She needed a place to stay, so I let her take the room over the garage. That's it. Look, she is clear on my feelings for you, okay? I told her, I made it very clear to her, my feelings for you, very clear. Sweetheart, I haven't been able to think about anything since I saw you in Italy. You were the only woman in my life. Trisha Quick means nothing to me. Stephanie, Ridge is going to be fine. What he needs is some time to adjust. Adjust? Adjust? After you make this big announcement that the only man that he's ever known and loved as his father is not his father? I did not announce it. We had a very discreet, amenable conversation. And in that same conversation, you inform him that his sister's in love with him. It was his idea to go after Bridget, not mine. And what are you hoping is going to happen if he finds her? I don't know. I just gave him all the information. What he does with it is up to him. There's... Bridget, it's okay, really. It's all right. Gosh, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. For what? I can't lie to you. I know how horrible it is, but I did feel something. Help what you're feeling. I tried so hard to ignore it. I kept telling myself it was Mashimo's fault. He put all these ideas in my head. And maybe it was. But it wasn't all in my head. And then the day you showed me that ring, the one you gave to Mom, Rich, when you put it on my finger, And the night you showed up here, after you found out about Mom and Deacon, and just the way you comforted me. <laughs> oh, God, Stephanie was right. I should have just gotten on that plane. Why? Because I am so confused. Everything Mazimo's been saying, Rich, he wants me in your life. He thinks I'm good for you and the kids. You are. No, no, you don't understand. He, he sees me as some kind of a replacement for Taylor, which is ridiculous. It's crazy. Is it? <laughs> 